A downtown staple recently made a move up Phillips Avenue. Rayfield's Art and Framing left its home of nearly 20 years near 10th and Phillips for a move north just across the street from the new Levitt Shell. We have a look at their new space in tonight's Your Money Matters. It's a lot of physical work, a lot of labor, 35-year-old business takes a lot of time to move. Rayfeld's Art and Framing has had several locations over the years. They started at the mall. They had a location on 41st Street at one time, um, but downtown on Phillips right across from Zambro's, we were there for a good 20. Now its former storefront is empty and will stay that way for shoppers as the prime Phillips Avenue space was purchased by Vanderwall Architects to help expand its growing office. When Vanderwall purchased the building, um, we really decided that was a, a good transition time. Rayfelds looked at several potential properties for the move, but landed on the Phillips Avenue side of the former Luciano's building in the city's growing uptown. Create um, kind of a, an art corner. You know, we've got Ipso right around the corner from us. We have 8th and Railroad up the street. You know, this is kind of what we hope to be uh, developing into an arts district. We're right across the street from the Levitt. They were able to transform the 120-year-old space into a functional gallery. We painted, we built tables, we built walls. Kind of from the ground up, really, we're able to create it uh, to our liking, to the, the things that we didn't like about the old space, we were kind of able to recreate that for ourselves here. Rayfeld splits the ground floor with Chef Lance's, but also has some future plans for the basement of the building. Which we do hope to turn into gallery, usable gallery space and hopefully host classes and, you know, figure drawing or something like that. That's definitely in the plans. Rayfeld's Art and Framing is also a big supporter of local artists and will be hosting an art show this Friday. We put the details with this story on Kelloland.com.